let us look at uh, again the simple question of differentiation now here you can differentiate using the quotient rule uh, but I would like uh, to do a differentiation using simplifying this a little so what do I mean so let me write this like this y is equal to square root of x can be written as x to the power half plus 2x minus 1 over x squared so this is same as you can distribute this x squared to each of them so the next step I can write like this x to the power half over x squared I'm doing very slowly so that you x to the 2x to the power 1 over x squared minus 1 can be written as 1 x to the power 0 over x to the power 2 so I'm just simplifying so y is equal now this you're dividing power so you take away the exponent so this is x to the power half minus 2 okay plus 2x to the power 1 minus 2 minus 1x to the power 0 minus 2. So when you're dividing exponents, you take away the, uh, when you're dividing powers, you take away the exponent. Now this the next step is y is equal to x to the power half. 4 can be written as 2 halves. Sorry, four, 2 can be written as 4 halves plus 2x to the power negative 1 minus 1 x to the power minus 2. So let me simplify. Finally, you've got y is equal to x to the power minus 3 halves plus 2x to the power negative 1 minus 1x to the power minus 2. So now you can use the uh, power rule or it's a polynomial. So dy by dx so when you're differentiating a polynomial, you uh, bring the power down and decrease the power by 1. So I'm writing this as, um, okay, before that, so let me write this. Instead of fraction, can we, can we change this as a decimal? Because life is easier when you have decimal. So y is equal to x to the power negative 1.5 plus 2x to the power negative 1 minus x to the power minus 2. So divide by dx, drop the power down and decrease the power by 1. So it's minus 1.5 x to the power, if you decrease this by my 1, it's minus 2.5 plus, uh, I'll change this to minus because when you drop this power down, so 2 times negative 1 is minus 2 x to the power minus 2 and when you drop this down this will become plus 2 x to the power minus 3 so divide by dx uh, simplifying this a little is minus 1.5 over x to the power 2.5 minus 2 over x squared plus 2 over x to the power 3 or x cubed now I want to find, I want to check my answer. So this is the answer. It can be, uh, it's always good to check your answer in, in maths because at times what we do is anyone can do mistake. Okay, We can end up doing very small errors which will give you not, uh, the answer can be completely wrong. Okay, so how will I check whether, I want to check whether my answer is right or wrong. So first, let me use a calculator. So you can use, I'll show you in the run menu, if you go to option, and if you press F4, this is D by DX. F2 is D by DX of the function. The function is, so you have a denominator, so I'm going to use, so this is by default, I'll delete it. So this is starts with the brackets, but I want to put the numerator in the bracket, so start with the bracket shift square root of x plus 2x minus 1 close the bracket this is the denominator divided by x squared and i want to find the uh, the gradient function at x is equal to 1 because the function is defined at 
one so i'll press comma press comma key and one I'll close the bracket so we, i'm asking the calculator to give me the gradient function or the derivative of this function when x is equal to one so if we enter execute it's minus 1.5 the calculator is telling me that the derivative of this function when x is 1 is minus 1.5 so if my derivation or my derivative this is right i should get the same answer so let me use a different pen so dy by dx this is a way of writing when x is equal to 1 so what i have to do is simply put 1 into this equation so it's minus 1.5 over 1.5 1 to the power 2.5 so let me put the so 2 divided by 1 squared plus 2 divided by 1 cube so this is nothing but 1.1 1 .1 to the power 2.5 is 1 so this is minus 1.5 this is also 1 minus 2 plus 2 so my final answer is minus 1.5 so i have confirmed my answer is right i want you to look at this question again uh, i told you now this is a implicit function y cube plus 3xy plus 2x cube is equal to 16. so you want to find the gradient of the tangent to this curve at the point minus one three i'll come back and do give you the solution Okay, and I'll also show how to graph this on a different program. And you can't use a graphic calculator or any calculator to graph this function. See you in the next video.